Summary of the Circle by Dave Eggers May Holland, a young woman, goes to the side of the circle, one of the best-known and most innovative tech companies in the world. Annie Allerton, May's close friend and college flatmate, is one of the circle's highest-ranking workers, and she helped get May a job there. Annie kindly welcomes May and shows her around the beautiful and modern facilities. Everyone May meets is very kind and happy that she is joining the company. Annie tells May about the circle while they are on the trip. The three wise men are the three people in charge of it. Ty Gospodinov, who started the wise men and is the most tech-savvy of them, lives alone and almost never goes out in public anymore. Tom Stenton is in charge of the company's dirty work. He is the most aggressive and money-hungry of the wise men. Eamon Bailey, who is the most popular and charismatic of the wise men, is in charge of making the company's goal of global connectivity come true. May starts working for the circle in the department for customer experience. There, she talks with customers who want to know more about circle goods. Her job seems to be mostly surface level, and it's not clear how it fits into the overall goal of the company. May finds out quickly that the circle has parties and other social events almost all the time. At one party, she meets Francis Garaventa, a strange worker. May finds out quickly that Francis is an orphan and that several of his brothers were taken and killed when he was young. So, Francis is working on a project for the circle to help find children who have been taken. May also goes to talks that Eamon Bailey gives. At one, Eamon shows off a program called Sea Change. It is a system of cams that lets Circle users watch any place on Earth at any time. May likes how ideal the Circle is, but she doesn't spend as much time there as her co-workers do because she likes to visit her parents. Her father has MS and needs care all the time. Unfortunately, his health insurance doesn't cover the painkillers he needs to feel better. May is told at work that she should spend a lot more time getting to know people at the Circle. She is expected to go to parties and get-togethers, but what's more important is that she is told to post online about what she's doing. May knows that having an online profile is important for her job, so she works hard at it. She stays up late to post status updates, like other people's videos, etc. May meets a mysterious guy named Calden around the same time. Calden asks May questions about herself and her work, but he won't answer many questions about his own life. He won't even tell May his last name. May looks online for Calden, but she can't find anyone with that name. Later, May and Francis go on a date, and they kiss. The day after their date, Francis helps give a talk about a new dating website called Love Love. During the presentation, he shows how the website works by putting May's personal information on it. Frances has upset May so much that she won't talk to him. Soon after, she finds out that her dad's health is getting worse quickly. She goes home to see her father, and while she's there, she fights with Mercer Medeiros, her old boyfriend. Mercer isn't sure about May's new job, and he says so. He also says that May's constant texting and social networking are hurting her ties with her friends and family. May meets Calden at a circle party around the same time, and they have sex in a secret room. May learns at work that she can put her parents on the health insurance plan of the company she works for. With Annie's help, she does this. In the meantime, the circle starts to push the idea of becoming completely open, which would mean that all of its users would have to share all of their personal information and events with other users. On its site, the circle puts up cameras almost everywhere. Calden and May have sex in secret in the bathroom, which is one of the only places without cameras. May goes to the beach one night after having dinner with Mercer and her parents. Near her favorite kayak shop, she sees a kayak that hasn't been returned. She chooses to take it out and then put it back, leaving it the way it was. When she gets back to land, though, she is surprised to find police ready to take her into custody. May has no choice but to call Marion, who owns the kayak shop. Even though she doesn't end up getting jailed, the whole thing scares May. The next day, May finds out that some Circle users reported her because they saw her steal the kayak on a secret camera set up near the beach and thought she was doing it. 
May goes to see Eamon Bailey, who convinces her that secrets are lies and that it's the right thing to do for people to talk about their lives. After that, May almost always posts online, telling everyone about every part of her life. The story skips almost a year ahead. The circle has grown so much that it now handles almost all of the world's information flow. May has become more open and has been raised to be the company's virtual tour guide. May always wears a mask around her chest that lets anyone in the world see what she sees and hear what she says. This is part of being open, which is an important part of her job as a guide. May loves that she is honest and lively all the time. She has to be on all the time for the millions of people who watch her. May gets back together with Francis, but they can't have sex because Francis has early ejaculation. May is also getting further away from Annie, who seems to be too busy and jealous of May's rising popularity at work and with the company's customers. May finds out that her family has been disrespecting the circle. After her parents signed up for the company's health insurance, the circle put cameras in their house. May's parents covered the cameras with cloth so that the circle couldn't see what was going on. May is so angry that she begs her parents to find the cams. Mercer tells May that her parents should have some space, which May thinks is crazy. At work, May comes up with a new idea, all circle users should have to vote online through a website that the circle controls. Eamon Bailey and Tom Stenton like this idea, and they want the company to make all circle users do things like pay their taxes through the circle, test their children through the circle, etc. The result is a program called Democracy that lets anyone in the world vote on any subject. Calden calls May several times and tells her that she needs to speak out against the circle because it is becoming dangerous and authoritarian. May ignores Calden. She stays up late writing online, and even small problems make her feel nervous and worried. The circle comes up with ideas for projects that would let police officers go after people who might become thieves but haven't done anything wrong yet. In the meantime, May figures out that Annie has severe anxiety. Annie has agreed to be a test subject for a new program called Circle that keeps track of people's ancestry and family history. Annie found out through this program that some of her relatives owned slaves. As a result, people who follow her online are sending her mean messages. May tries to help Annie by telling her millions of viewers that they should be kind to Annie and forget about what her family has done wrong. May gets a letter from Mercer telling her that he's going to live alone to get away from the Circle's watch. Shortly after that, May shows off a new Circle program that helps find people who have run away. She decides to show Mercer how the program works, so she sends a group of drones after him. In the middle of her protest, Mercer drives his car into a gorge to get away from the drones, and maybe to get away from the general society of surveillance that the Circle has created. He dies, it's a clear suicide. May is upset, but Eamon Bailey tells her that Mercer was a troubled young man who died on his own and that she had nothing to do with his death. May finally meets Tigas Badenov, the third wise man and the one who stays home the most. She can't believe Ty is really Calden. In private, Ty says that he has been trying to destroy his own business for years. He never wanted the circle to hurt people's privacy, and he thinks that Tom Stenton will turn the circle into a tyrannical monopoly. He begs May to use her power to say bad things about the company. In the short last part of the book, May has decided not to say anything bad about the company, but instead to tell Eamon Bailey and Tom Stenton about Ty's plans to do something bad. Then, Stenton and Bailey arrested Ty, or May have killed him, and May hasn't seen Ty since. Annie is in a coma. But May goes to see her because she had a mental breakdown after working on the genealogy project and is now in a coma. She looks at the screens that show Annie's brainwaves and decides to make a plan for being able to listen to other people's thoughts. The last line of the book is, the world deserved nothing less and would not wait. About the author. Dave Eggers was born in Chicago and grew up there. He went to college at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. But just before Eggers graduated, both of his parents died suddenly, and he had to leave school at age 21 to take care of his younger brother, who was only eight years old. 
Eggers started the satirical magazine Might in the early 1990s. He later worked as a writer for Salon. Com. Eggers's first book, a heartbreaking work of staggering genius, came out in 2000. It was about the years he spent raising his younger brother, and it was a bestseller and a Pulitzer Prize candidate. For the rest of the decade, Eggers wrote a number of successful novels and non-fiction books, such as What is the What in Zytown, which were praised for tackling serious topics like gentrification, the internet, globalization, and immigration. Eggers also started the independent publishing house McSweeney's, the literary magazine The Believer, and the 826 network of writing and teaching centers. He is a San Francisco resident. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.